with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part one of four. Etc. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com/schedule. Nos programas ofrecen muchas lenguas. Vayan a visitar suprememastertv.com/schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com/schedule. 我们的节目提供多种语言，请看 suprememastertv.com/schedule. So I don't dare to ask anybody to help me at all. Because of that, because they're not in sync with me, they just have one goal: oh, talk to master. My God, it's a rare opportunity. Must talk now or never. What for? You have to talk. I know you love me. I know you are thankful. I know everything already. You think it's so nice to be master, always sitting on a high chair, and, and everybody got to go. And you talk endlessly with your calendar. No, it's not like that. There are things behind I have to worry about. Please keep watching to find out more. To progress, we must face challenges. Just begin. See if you can. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org. Or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean. Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian, or Uranian. When asked how are you doing by your Tunisian friend, you can say "Hamdulillah," meaning "I'm fine" in Tunisian Arabic. My name is Samira. The good-natured Tunisians commend your efforts to stay on the vegan path. Situated on the Mediterranean coast of northwest Africa, the Republic of Tunisia forms a gateway between Africa and Europe. With a history of ancient civilizations. Dating back 3,000 years, Tunisia embraces a rich cultural heritage and diversity from European, Mediterranean, Islamic, and nomadic cultures. Tunisia's pleasant climate creates perfect conditions for crops like olives. As one of the top 10 olive oil producers in the world. Tunisia is known for its use of traditional organic cultivation methods. Other crops grown for export are dates and citrus fruits. In Tunisia's south lies the magnificent Sahara Desert, where national parks like Jebel and Sengar Jebs provide sanctuary for animal people like the regular Barbary sheep and the elegant Hubara bustard. 
Visitors to these desert areas are also mesmerized by the astonishing wind-sculpted sand dunes, golden desert sunsets, and breathtaking starry nights. The vast majority of Tunisians follow the Muslim faith. Their long-standing devotion is commemorated in many exquisitely beautiful and historic mosques, such as the Grand Mosque of Kairouan. Dating back more than 1,000 years, this expansive place of worship is an architectural wonder and a highly visited holy site. We had a joyous time visiting gorgeous Tunisia with you, patient viewers. May you be blessed with an abundance of healthy and nutritious vegan food to nourish your body. Smart Entrepreneur No wonder you are vegan. For decades, Supreme Master Qin Hai, vegan, has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the Worship World Honored One Shakyamuni Buddha, vegan, the Worship Son of God, Jesus Christ, vegetarian, the Venerated Master and Philosopher Confucius, vegetarian, the Venerated Lord Krishna, vegetarian, the Venerated Master and Philosopher Lao Tzu, vegan, the Venerated Lord Mahavira, vegan, the Beloved Prophet Muhammad, vegetarian, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, vegetarian, and many more. Supreme Master Qin Hai, vegan, emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on Earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Qin Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Qin Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Qin Hai Vegan receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, 
both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Qin Hai Dei, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. Etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Chin Hai Vegan respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Chin Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Chin Hai, vegan, promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, Loving Hot, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Chin Hai, vegan, has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Unconditional Help and Love is the Answer, Part 6 of 12 
on between Master and Disciples, given in English and Korean on April 28, 2019 in Newland Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Uh, yeah, I want to ask her one question. Yesterday I was feeding the duck and she was also crying. I don't know why. Everything happy, she cries. <laughs> and she was there already, you know, because I took her back so that she could help me to take off the clothes as well. It was quicker than me fumbling all, all over myself, not being used to it. And then I also wanted to give that uh, set of clothes to the soul center. Of course, uh, I could give them to many other meditation centers, but Seoul is the capital. So if anyone wants to see it, they can go there. But I wanted to give them that to remind them of the one-year anniversary of Korea's peace. So I, I wanted her to come with me, so I could give her the clothes. But before that, I just put on the bathrobe quickly, and then I went out and fed the ducks. And she <laughs> followed me outside. The ducks and the fish were outside. I said, today we celebrate. So you also should celebrate. I gave them bread, you know, the chop chop bread already. The kitchen, they always prepare some toast, like square bread, but the wholemeal bread and the chop, very small, like finger dots for me. So when I went there, I took the bag and then I threw it for them. The fish and the ducks, I ate together. It may not be uh, their food, but they love it so much. Hundreds of fish are jumping all over whenever I go out and they eat together. And then she was crying too. Ah, it's not a sad occasion, is it? Yeah, Korean peace is not a sad occasion. And my peace in so close is not sad. She cried. And I fit the ducks so nothing to do with Korea. They're also crying. Why? <laughs> huh? I said, why? The fish were happy. <laughs> the ducks were happy. <laughs> and they were eating wool like a big festival. Why was she crying? 어제 왜 물고기한테 밥 주고 걔들하고 같이 산책할 때 우셨냐고 물으세요. And now she can't speak. <laughs> so whenever I have happy occasion, I don't dare take her anymore. I was worried. I said, what's wrong? What's wrong? Something wrong? And she couldn't speak either. So up to now, I still don't know why she cried. Maybe she didn't like the fish. <laughs> All the ducks. <웃음> What's then? 아닙니다. 스승님께서 너무나 열악한 환경에서도 묵묵히 몸을 보여주시는 걸 보고 감동을 받았거니와 또한 저를 위해서 얼마나 희생하셨는지 알고 있습니다. 그래서 감사의 말씀과 죄송하다 말씀을 드려야 되는데 그렇게 그 자리에서 표현하는 것이 옳은지 그냥 기다리고 있어야 되는 건지 제대로 몰랐습니다. She knows how hard you tried for the event and like how much effort you put into the event and she knows how much you sacrificed for her. So she didn't know how to express her feeling or she, she, if she would, should wait till expressing her feeling. So she was just crying there. What did I do for her? She helped me. Why did they sacrifice for her? <laughs> I didn't sacrifice for you. I just needed you to help me to wear the difficult dress. 어제 스승님을 도와주신 건 사전님이신데 왜왜 사전님께서 우셨냐고 물으세요? I didn't sacrifice for you. Sorry about that. Wrong impression. Yeah. Anyway, you don't know the Korean dress look beautiful, right? Yeah. But it's very difficult to wear. You must wear it correctly, otherwise it will look funny. Yeah. Or you could not wear it at all. <laughs> Once it's on, oh, it really looks regal, yeah? And they can wear it in a different style, different 
way, but still looks Korean. People still recognize it is Korean dress for sure. They will not mistake it for Chinese dress or for Vietnamese dress or Japanese dress or any other dress. Very unique, yeah. Even if they make a different style or a different way to wear it, still the same Korean. Yesterday, many different styles of Korean dress. Still, you know it is Korean dress. Yes. I like it. It's just you need a mate to. <laughs> you need somebody around to help you so that you cannot fold it yourself. You have to fold it properly, otherwise it becomes creased up. You have to hang it well, otherwise you cannot wear it. And after wearing it, you have to know how to wash it. I don't know what kind of machine is suitable for that, but it's truly it's something. It's for royalty only. They can't afford it every day. <laughs> Lucky I'm not in Korea, otherwise I have to often wear that. And I have to sacrifice for another person <laughs> like her. And then she crying all the time. Don't cry anymore, you must be happy. My God. You know, I was in a hurry. Because she told me, she warned me in advance, it takes half an hour at least to put on that beautiful dress. Half an hour, mind you, okay? How long does it take to put your clothes on? Five minutes, right? This, yeah? Five minutes max. Men, also women. Today, I don't know who's men, who's women, they wear similar. Yeah, or jeans and <laughs> t-shirts. So, five minutes or ten maximum, right? Half an hour to put on the Korean outfit so you can understand how complicated it is. And if I were alone, it would take half a day at least, if I could even manage, okay? Luckily, the soul people knew it. They said, Master, in case you need it. Of course I need it, not in case or out of case. <laughs> <laughs> I could never manage it. No one could. Uh, maybe the Koreans, they have a trick. I don't know, but I've not used it. Uh, yeah, and I was in a hurry already. Of course, before that, I had to... Uh, sign papers and check many documents. And then I was, you know, concentrating and doing that. And luckily, I put the alarm on, you know. Oh my God, got to go. Oh, at least half an hour to wear the dress and then some makeup. Oh my God, yeah, I got to run. <laughs> I was thinking, as usual, you know, because when you work every day, you just think of usual things. But yesterday was different. I was thinking after I finished my paperwork, which is a lot, I'm going to... I would say, reward myself with the waiting breakfast. But they said, no, no, you have to go. My God, you can't. <laughs> and then I run over there. And then she worried too much about many things. I asked her to come, and she came fine. And then she, instead of concentrating on helping me to wear, she Master, I'm thanking you for, uh, I don't remember any of this. And then I said, oh, please, don't, no, just do the job. <laughs> Just help me to do an address. <laughs> I don't have time. You can thank me later, you know. But see, on and on. And then, and then she explained to me also the history of how to wear the dress and all that stuff. I said, oh, later, later, please, just put it on first. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I had to sacrifice. So. <laughs> yeah. This is a problem also that I could not help, help people to help me, yeah? The, the ones around me, they don't know anything for a special occasion. My helpers only can fit the door, people, yeah? Maybe sometimes they help me with bringing heavy things into my place, because I cannot do it alone, for example, like that. But if they help me to wear a Korean dress, then I think we both will be lost, and the performance will never take place. But if I ask somebody, like, for example, your sister there, yeah, never been so close to me, never helped me with anything, then they begin with the history of their life. <sighs> my God, I was thinking, please forget that I'm a master. I just need you to put the dress on. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> but I was also worried in my heart that if I say to her like that, I refuse her advice and her history, she probably feel hurt. And, you know, endless. Endless story, so I don't dare to ask anybody to help me at all because of that, because they're not in sync with me. They just have one go, oh, talk to master, my God, it's a rare opportunity. Must talk now or never. What for you have to talk? I know you love me. I know you are thankful. I know everything already. And if you need to, you write a letter in advance 
and give it to me and I read it later. So I know you love me, I know you are thankful, I know this and that and other and all the story of your life. I had no time, man. Didn't you see that? Huh? Even on such an occasion, any kid five years old would see that I was in a hurry and under time pressure and all kinds of pressure, but you had no idea, did you? You think it's so nice to be a master, always sitting on a high chair and, and everybody got to go. And you talk endlessly with your calendar. No, it's not like that. There are things behind I have to worry about. For the event to take place yesterday, for everybody to, to enjoy peace and happiness like that. Not only I had to work hard behind the scenes, many of your brothers and sisters in Taiwan had to close their restaurants to come here to take care of the kitchen or the service. Understand what I'm saying? They had to uh, take a day off, extra off, to come here and be extra bodyguards, extra guards for the house, for the mountain. Our place is very big. And these people, they were so scared. They made me scared too. <laughs> Something might happen. So we had to take precautions, huh? because prevention it's always better than cure, yes. So I might as well do it. So many people sacrifice. They had to take a day off. It's not that easy to just say like that. I want to take a day off next week or next few days. Some people have important jobs in society, not just housewives, huh? Even housewives have difficulty. If you have children and suddenly they're sick, huh? You can't quit. You just have to be there for the child. Many things happen in life all the time. It's not always like tears or peaceful and discussing things. You have to wake up and yeah, consider others, not just yourself all the time. I don't need you to tell me that you are very happy and honored and privileged to put on the dress for me. I know that already, okay? And even if I don't know that, so what? What is so important? I was in a hurry, yeah? So I could make it on time yesterday. But if I sat there and let her finish her story, then I wouldn't see you. If I'm so polite and soft and gentle, say, Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Bravo. Then how do you think I do my job? Huh? So if I ever offend you in that kind of situation, please just forgive me outright and shut up. Okay? <laughs> The best thing for you to do for me when you're next to me, helping me with something, it just zip. One word, zip, okay? I don't need you to thank me or tell me that you are privileged and honored to help me to put on my shoes. My God, what the heck is all that? Huh? Just now and then you have an old helpless woman to put on the shoes. What's so big deal about it, huh? Is it so big deal? Huh? If you see people on the street outside who maybe uh, her dress is coming down for some reason or her shoes is uh, falling off because she's an old woman, then wouldn't you help her? Yes. Yes, the same. I'm an old woman. I need a little help. If you keep doing this, I won't dare to ask anybody. That's why I don't have any help. Yeah, and also whenever any of the people come to work in my house, like repairing something, or anywhere, or my cave even, so little as, so primitive as my cave, I even need people go there sometimes. And it's not ending there. But I always have to run away, so they don't, you know, give the story of their life and all this appreciation with a black, maybe for the privilege of <laughs> repairing my floor. For example, I always run away whenever they work. I have to tell them what, 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 and then I run. But because of that, sometimes they do things they're not supposed to do.
Russia. Go home now. When I'm able to combine that overlap between Jainism and veganism, I feel most aligned. I feel the healthiest and spiritually grounded through that. Priyanka Shah, vegan. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. They helped me to fix the roof of the cave. So the water is running very less now. Uh, only a little bit. It's very bearable. Before it was like flood, like a swimming pool. But I did not care. <laughs> I did not care. It was them who had the idea. And they bought everything already before they told me. Then I said, oh, I have to think about it. To let somebody keep climbing on the roof. I said, I don't really need it. I have a tent. Even if the floor is flooded and the water dropping, it affects me not. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Haiti is one of them. Haiti, penal code, a fine is incurred by those who inhumanely mistreat long harmful animal people, cause the death or injury to industrially raised animal folk belonging to others, or overload a walking animal person. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting, no more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace, so be it. Respected viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Unconditional Help and Love is the Answer, Part 6 of 12 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from the Larger Suhavati Vyuha Sutra, The Pure Land of Amitabha Buddha, Vegan, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. May your love for Allah be expressed through your loving actions that improve the lives of those around you. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.